So guys, fun video today. I've been given a chainsaw with a destroyed blade on it. Uh, I'm gonna go and take it to my place, cut some hardwood, see how long it takes to get through said piece of hardwood. Set this chainsaw sharpener up, do a quick tutorial and run through on how to use this chainsaw blade sharpener. And then we're gonna cut the same timber with the uh, sharpened blade, see how long it takes to go through after it's been sharpened. So without further ado, we'll go straight to the blunt chainsaw and uh, go from there. So the first thing I've done when I got it out of the box, I installed it on my sawhorse with a couple of batten screws. Obviously if you bought one for your home, you could uh, use it on the workbench and fix it permanently, but because I'm only using it for the video, boom, a couple of uh, batten screws, happy days. And then you gotta install the uh, chain slider. This mechanism here installs through a bolt on the bottom and uh, that has a dial on the front here that you set your degrees for both sides of the chain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera over the back so you can see the blade actually working and cutting the teeth. And uh, then when I swap it over to do the other side of the blade, I'll uh, show you how I set all the settings up and what you do to uh, get it cutting properly. And we're off. This might take a while. You just do it in little bounces so it doesn't heat the steel up too much. That is cat's claw sharp. Roll it over to the next one. Hold it down, lock it in, and you're off. I did take a fair bit off these ones because they were really damaged. Now this is gonna take a while, so I'll cut this footage and I'll come back to you once I'm done on this side. All right, so this side is completely done. Switch it off. And I'll bring you around this side and show you how to set up for the other side. All right, so that's where that one is set. And if I'm honest, I think I took off way too much on the first side, but uh, because it was badly damaged, I figure I'll take off more than need be. Now, our dial down the bottom is at 30 degrees. Loosen that off, switch it to 30 on the other side, lock it in. Now we roll off to the next one, lock that down. And that should do the same thing as I just done on the other side. So I'll do one and measure it and make sure it's the same as the other side. Definitely taking too much off. But hey, we're here now. Oh yeah, beautiful. Right, well I'll set you up out of my way a little bit and we'll uh, do this whole side. Okay. Unlock. It up. So that's done. I'll uh, show you a few of the adjustments that you have to set up. So this on the back here is your depth adjustment. That pokes through there, you tighten it down with the locking nut here. And that bumps against here and obviously controls how deep your blade goes. <coughs> what else we got? We got our angle, we've got the uh, the chain adjustment here that adjusts how far your chain slides up inside this chain slider. 
that's uh, locked down. I had to take this screw out and just tighten that up and then put the screw back in there so it actually grabs onto the chain. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. This angle is set, this angle here is set, and then you just put your whatever degrees your chain is here on both sides for whatever side the chain you're sharpening. So all we have to do now is put this chain back on and test it out and see how long it takes to go through me a bit of hardwood here. So I'll be back. Now it's just a matter of getting the chain back on and happy days. And we're off. Well, just a little bit of difference. Bigger chunks. Go a couple more just for fun. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Proof is in the pudding, guys. 37 seconds down to seven seconds. Pretty impressive. So, uh, yeah, you can get these things for a steal. Uh, check them out online at tradetools.com and never worry about blunting your chainsaw again. You can just do whatever you want with it. Nip it up with the uh, chainsaw sharpener and you're off. How good's that? Oh, well, till the next video, guys. Enjoy. Oh, and don't forget, we've got tool delivery too. So if you buy stuff online at traytools.com, check that little box for same day or next day delivery. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.